children, how are you? Um, this is Miss Helen, and I usually um, do the devotion at HUL for the kindergartners to um, second graders. And today, I'm glad to be here to share a devotion with you all again. And uh, you know why we all have to stay home these days? Um, there is a cause because it's by the virus. I am not gonna go into the detail talking about this virus again. I'm sure we have heard a lot and talk a lot and making sure that though, you have to clean, wash your hands all the time and stay in a distance so that we all be safe and healthy. So today our devotion, the Bible verse comes from John 16 verse 33. And it's something that um, I share with the kindergarten through second graders already last year during Halloween time. If you recall, Jesus said, I have overcome the world. And I find that this Bible verse fits this out, uh, situation, fits this occasion so well. Because that Bible verse reminds me, and I'm sure it will remind you and everyone, that Jesus is coming us, giving us the peace so that we don't need to be afraid. He is with us, He is in us, for those who believe. So let's take a look at that Bible verse again. I have told you these things, Jesus said, so that in me, you may find peace. In this world, you will have troubles. But take heart, I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. Jesus told his disciple ahead of time, what's gonna happen so that his disciple will not be afraid once Jesus left the world. Jesus did not leave the world forever and not coming back. Jesus did not die forever and not coming back. Actually, he overcome the world because he came back. He resurrected. And that's what he told his disciple. Take heart, not to be afraid. Be brave, be courageous. He has overcome the world. Overcome means victory. Jesus won. Nothing and trap him down. And for us, every single one who believe in him, nothing will trap us down. We can be brave and we have peace in us to continue living even though we have to face this kind of sickness, virus every day. But we do need to listen, especially children, listen to your parents, adults, to keep yourself clean and healthy. So, to help us remember and to help all of you remember, children, about this Bible verse, about Jesus promised, I have three different crafts for you. You can choose any one you want to do, or you can do them all. Not a day, maybe, but if you want to, you can. Or maybe one a day. Especially, I have bookmarks prepared for you guys. These are the Bible verses. If you remember, during our devotion uh, at HUL, we make bookmarks for all the Bible verses we studied. We need, first of all, write down what kind of trouble we think we'll face in this world. I'm gonna write down the word trouble. So, number one, sin is trouble. Sin, a lot of things, telling lies, fights, okay, that, that's sin. We can be mean to people, or you may face mean people in school. That's trouble. We don't wanna face trouble, but something that come to us. And, oh, bullying, that's part of the mean thing we will face. And famine, the people have no food in this world, in other countries. And even in the United States, even in San Francisco, they have to suffer hungriness. That's trouble. Maybe war? War is another one. How about now we have disease, the virus causing us, some people very sick. That's another one, that's sickness. But Jesus said, do not worry, take heart, be brave, be courageous. You take the heart, which is tempted, or you can print this one out, color it, cut it out, and tape it over it. This will be perfect to remind us. We don't have to look at the trouble so much. We face Jesus. 
we look at Jesus as that. Put our faith upon Jesus, and we'll have peace as Jesus promises. Another craft that I want to show you is a heart puzzle. This is like the one I created for myself. Just, there are a total of 10 Bible verses, so you design 10 pieces of puzzle. You, and for each piece of puzzle, you fill in with one Bible verse, where it can be found in the Bible. On the back of the heart, for each piece of Bible verse in the front, make sure you write down the meaning of the Bible verse. There is a template that I provide to Miss Ashley. She will send it out to you. On this template, it lists all 10 Bible verses. So for the first one, 1 John 5, 4. I can overcome with faith. That's what the Bible verse means. That's all you need to write down. 1 John 5, 4. On the back of 1 John 5, 4, you write down, I can overcome with faith. So what you can do is that after you finish filling out each piece of puzzle on the back, you're done writing the, the meaning of the Bible verse, cut out the puzzle. See if you can fit it back by yourself. If you have a friend with you, you have a sibling at home, or you can do it with your parents. You can have um, a game with them to see, um, you know, build the puzzle together, or you can have a race to see how much time you can put it back together. Okay. And this will remind yourself, also help you to remember all these promises by Jesus is from Jesus. Okay. I have pre-created my design of the puzzle, but you can print the blank puzzle to create your own puzzle pieces. The third craft that I have prepared for you is the bookmark. And for those children who've been coming to my devotion with them, they know what I mean. So there are a total of 10 Bible verses as the template shows, okay, for each Bible verse, it has meaning of it. The Bible verse itself, for some of them, pretty long, and they, you might not know all the words because you are still at the young grade level. But if you have parents help you, then you can read it over. But simply, I put down, again, using 1 John 5, 4 as a sample. 1 John 5, 4, I put down the meaning of it. I can overcome with faith. On back of your bookmark, you draw a picture to show faith. For this sample, I drew a cross to show that I believe in Jesus. But you can, for some of you are such good artists, make a wonderful picture to show the Bible verse, okay? So there are a total of three crafts to help you and even help myself to remember Jesus promised for us that we have peace in Him because we belong to Him. Thank you all and I hope to um, get to talk to you again and if you have any question, you know where to um, find us. You can ask your parents to send e um, email to Ms. Ashley. Okay, I can answer your question. Have a good day.